You guys are watching A Rich and Jazzy Life. We are taking a trip of a lifetime. With our five and our seven year old, Ray. Rain and Roy. Yeah. We are cruising on the Disney Dream. Leaving from Italy and we're sailing to Greece. In this nine day adventure. From the airport in Atlanta. We're gonna eat food in Italy. Santorini, Greece. And today, we are in Sorrento, Italy. We're actually stopping in Naples, AKA. Napoli. <laughs> Napoli. <laughs> we are working on our Italian, but that's where we're going today. Just getting off the ship, following our group number 24. See what the bus accommodations are looking like. From the time you walk off the ship, it's like 20 steps and you're on the bus. Yes, very convenient. Extreme levels of convenience there. I'm so used to having to walk all the way to where the bus is. Yeah. This now, is nice. If you wanted to do something on your own, it's looking like over there people are waiting in line for maybe a shuttle or a taxi or something of that sort. Welcome to Napoli. You know you are in Napoli. Yes. Yes. Don't you know that? Napoli. Napoli. Allora, so my name is Vincenzo. Such is a long name. That's why we use it to short it by making it Enzo. You like it? Then it'll be after Sorrento that we will be going to Pompeii, which will be the last stop, the closest to the port of Napoli. Allora, now in front of us, the main square of Napoli, Municipium Square. On the left, the one of the five castles of Napoli, lots of castles. So, as we were on our way to Sorrento, they gave a coloring book to the girls. All the kids on the bus got a coloring book. So, really, really nice. We're driving through this city is Sorrento and they have orange trees planted like in the sidewalk. Oh, the sidewalk. So you can it's just pretty cool. You could just grab one. Yeah. Grab <laughs> and some areas have lemons, like you could just grab a lemon oh, and go. Wow. We are absolutely gonna have lemoncello today. In yeah. in like the homeland of lemoncello. All right guys, so we are off the bus. It was an hour and fifteen minute ride to Le Colin de Sorrento. We are here and I cannot wait to make some mozzarella and have some limoncello and some wine and it's going to be a nice time. So all the Italian in. things. Do an Italian Yo, look at the views. Okay, she, so, ain't, she ain't eating no Sorrento cheese from Publix today. Oh. She's eating real oh. mozzarella from Sorrento. So come on. So, 10 liters of milk, hot water, and now she's making mozzarella treccia. Then mix the treccia, and then the treccia rests into cold water for 10 minutes. Are we going to stand here for 10 minutes? What did you, John? Are we going to stand here for 10 minutes? Oh, no. Just, just showing you how it's made. You want to make much well. Ah. And the goes to rest into all the water. For how long? Ah, then, you see what remains from me. Boiled and it's made ricotta. Ricotta. Cotta cooked. Ri. So, cooked twice, that's why. Ri cooked. Ricotta. You know ricotta cheese? Oh man, we're about to have this like fresh, fresh. Not really freshly made. Right. Was it packaged? 
Never package. This might just throw us a few. Boston? This we have cacio cavallo, mm -hmm. yellow cheese, mm -hmm. dry cheese, mozzarella, mm -hmm. and ricotta like cheese, mm -hmm. salami, big bruschetta with artichoke cream, and uh, red bruschetta, tomato dry, and chili. It's like a garlic. Oh, and chili. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Thank you. Oh man. Mm. Oh, this is all slamming. Rip off a piece of Did you have that ricotta cheese? Go. Army? For now? Why do you not eat the spawning at all? I do eat it. Come on, check me, check yourself, Bill. So take it and check yourself before you wreck yourself. Damn. We thought this was olive oil. It's not olive oil, it's wine. What the? I thought it was like when they say like a little taste of wine. Look inside. Pick it up. Stop running away. Stop running. Away. Mm. Mm. It has the um, the garlic sauce on it. Well, don't mind if I do. So we are done with our little cartoon plates. What do you think? I thought it was very good. Man, the only Delicious. thing that the, my bread. Could have been a little bit softer. I'm gonna go almost chip a tooth. Yeah, we don't want that. But mm -mm. delicious. Well, first of all, we went too much to the dentist. And then yeah, <laughs> we're a little paranoid now. Right. I got a nice bill of health. We're back from the dentist. We just went to the dentist last week. I know you guys didn't ask for that information, but we're giving it. Oh, I too. <laughs> Made it worse too. We all had this appointment. Anyway, they gave us this olive oil shaped wine and we all everyone even the woman next to me so i thought it was olive oil i'm like she said she's about to pour it on her bread <laughs> <laughs> so wait that's not a bad idea oh my god so it it was it's nice that they gave us our own Yo, personal bottle per table a healthy serving a healthy serving i've never been on a tour usually you get less than this a little medicine cup they'll do you do it like this they'll be like you want some wine you want some wine you want some wine you want some wine? <laughs> <laughs> can I have some more, please? Can I have some more? <laughs> and then you gotta go beg for seconds. Right. So, well, put on, put on a, uh, a hat and sunglasses and pretend like you're a different person. <laughs> which we are no stranger to. <laughs> really generous that they give uh, a nice portion. Yes. So so far, the tour has been nice. The um, tour guide gave tons of information while we were riding and that's what a tour should be you telling us about the history of the city telling us you know this is what, what this is what's on the left this is what's on the right yeah very very informative and the, the drive itself is very scenic because you go through like you go through the mountains mm -hmm. which is Literally. very cool yeah the like, like the three three mile tunnels going through the mountains and then when you get to the top the views are incredible yeah, you know, don't be turned off when you look at the details of these excursion. Well, it's this this excursion specifically that says that um, the excursion is the it takes seventy five minutes to get to your first destination. It was very scenic. Mm -hmm. I love that they gave the kids um, a coloring book to yeah. keep them busy. Parents, I would suggest that you pack your child, you know, this snack and always bring like a like a thermos, um, you know, a water bottle for them. There are no bathrooms on the bus, so make sure you take your child to the bathroom before you get on that bus. Before and after. Yes. Now, I know you're all wondering, well, what's the price? Right now, Richard is somehow scrolling through this little pop-up and showing you guys all the details for this specific tour. This was the price that we paid, times two kids, obviously, times two adults. All right, so we are at the Timeless Pompeii and the Flavor of Sorrento Tour. If you have a three-month to two-year-old, it's free, so that's great. 
uh, three years old to nine years old, like Rain and Royce, we paid $129 each. I don't know why they just don't make it 130 but hey, okay. 129 <laughs> sounds better than 30 <laughs> $129 each. And for Richard and I, for 10 and older, it is $155 a person. And it is a 10 hour tour. They are? So. It's, 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 it's really for, worth it it's so really far. Nice. Yeah, it's we'll let you know. I mean, stay tuned just to let us tell you in the end if it's worth paying that or not. But so far, we're we're feeling it. Vibes are good. The vibes are vibing. It's very Italian. Extremely. Yeah, very Italian. Which is what we were going for. She wants to feel like an Italian mommy. I don't know. Italian mommy doesn't really feel off it. It doesn't. <laughs> Man, New Yorker. Man, New York. You know, I noticed something over here. I mean, you sure need to get up close in my face. What did you notice? That's what I do. You had to zoom in on me like that. I noticed oh. that everybody else still has wine left. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't. So I'm getting my 455 worth, okay? Hello. I'm about to rob somebody who bounced. I want to go on that wine. There's plenty of wine to drink. Look, I'm, I'm not kidding, guys. Like, most people left the wine behind. I'm not even a white wine. I strictly drink red wine. Well, I'm going to drink this wine. I'm going to drink this wine. I'm going to get my little buzz on. White, red, black, whatever. <laughs> All right, now heading to the garden, I believe. This is a farm that we're on, by the way, in case we haven't mentioned that. This part of the church was built in the 16th century. Then... We go on the top of, of the trees with the, with the steps, we shake, and we collect the olives in the nets. What's your really assessment? Really enjoy the flavor. They're nice them. and plump, you know? So, they flower I know. from April to June, July. Past of olives. So, you tried our wine was not too strong. The production here of wine is really natural. We don't have nothing of chemical inside. Mm -hmm. You can feel when you try. It's like our mozzarella. It's all made here. So the wine was from? Yes, for, from our grape. So this is where they would press the olives using a donkey to go around. And it would leak, I guess, in here. They would collect it in there. This is the old school way of doing it, of making olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Yes. With the flavor of lemons. Oh. oh. This is spaghettata, so with the oh. parsley, garlic, and chili inside. Yes. Okay. And this is chili olive oil. Okay. So you can try all with a piece of bread if you want. What's this one here? Here you have our marmalade, our jam. Oh, okay. They're uh, different flavor, lemon, mandarin, and uh, orange jam. That's the one with the lemon? I never had. Lemon infused. Oh. Good. That's a new thing. We got, to start. we got to squeeze some lemon in the olive oil. All right. Let me get by. Hook me up, yo. Make me one. This is the lemon one, right? Oh, that is a thing. Mm, you're drowning that bread, huh? <laughs> She's a mad olive oil. I'm mad. What you think it's going for? This is the chili oil. Mm. That's a little cake. Mm -hmm. Feed me, Simo. Dang it. I don't taste the cake, right? It comes a little bit. It's a little delayed. Maybe I can. Oh, give it, is, it is a delay. It's a delayed, it's delayed. It's a delayed <laughs> cake. I'm yeah. about to say you pull yourself a Trinidadian. I mean, it's nothing in terms of spice, No, but, but it does have a, a little. Afterburn. Mm -hmm. What are the okay. different types? You have lemon chocolate, melon cream, and lemon cream. Then you have a classic limoncello, yeah. orange, yeah. and the fenty. Oh. oh, wow. I make limon. You make? Yes. She makes it. Can we yes. try it? Let's try the classic. Classic? Yes. 
Secretly Montego. Yeah. Try my punch class. I'll try punch, please. I know it's. Thank you. Go ahead, baby. Salud. Salud. Orange forever. Oh, man, Ooh, that's delicious. Orange. That's your favorite? Yeah. All right. That lemon is good. That is good. Ooh. Try the one. This is the orange. Ooh. That's good. Oh, that's very nice. Nice, nice and strong. Wait, that one has to be my favorite. The cream? That cream? The cream is tasty. It's giving like a lemon pina colada. That's exactly, if you can think of what the cream is, the lemon pina colada. The, the melon is really good. The is strong. What kind of melon? Like cantaloupe? Cantaloupe. Oh, cantaloupe. Oh, okay. It's tasty, very tasty. I don't want to mix the cream. Can I try the, the cantaloupe, please? I love Oh my nails! Thank you. Did I do my own hair? Nails like this? For like the sun? Um, do you call classic? Thank you. Oh, plain. No, no, just short. They don't have nail salons that do it. She made all these lemoncellos. Delicious. Delicious. So delicious. The cantaloupe is really. That's the cantaloupe. The melon. The melon. Is really. They're good. all so good. Every single one. I think my favorite was Right. Chocolate lemon. Good on ice cream. Ooh, good on ice cream. Oh, I can see that. I can see. It. Who knew? Yo, Rosa coming through, yo. <laughs> yo, shout out to Rosa. Shout out to Rosa for making pulling it down. Okay, so if you want to purchase, you can take these back to the ship. They do hold them to the end of your cruise. $15 a bottle. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I almost want to buy one, but our bags are so tight. <laughs> I almost want to buy it and finish it today. I don't think no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we are done in the farm. I just want you to see across the street, because we're on a hill. How beautiful. a fish can you see a fish he was sanctified that's actually what happened a legend says that the children were playing on a beach of sorrento when suddenly the fish you see came out from the sea i want to thank you all for coming to sorrento welcome to our store my name is luigi and i'll show you a short of luigi ah, that's it. okay so they took us into this I don't know what the exact name of the store is. Art. Art. Gallery. Ish. Ish store. Anyway, so they showed us how artists would use little pieces of wood and use a saw to make basically traditional artwork. artwork. Yeah, but yeah. it's actually very beautiful. And you can actually purchase it if you want to. And it's a They've lot got... of pottery, mm -hmm. a lot of beautiful artwork, um, you know, handmade stuff for your kitchen here so if you that's what you're into that's what you're into it's actually two levels the store too it's, it's huge it's huge and they also let us use their facilities for complimentary for free if you need to use the restaurant right and that is that might not sound like a big deal but it is a big deal because you have to pay to use the restaurant. pay taxes european style mm -hmm. if you want to use the bathroom like anywhere yes so come with the complaint. all right so here's the famous square and we are this would i would consider to be the downtown Sorrento. This is straight ahead I would consider to be the shopping area they said. These are some of the stores you can expect to find here. So there is a lot of high-end stuff also like the Fendi Burberry, Ferragamo. There's some there's some choices there in addition to boutiques and all that good stuff. Lots of restaurants, lots of good stuff. They said nochi is most popular here. One of the most popular dishes so we're gonna see what we can get to eat. We're gonna see what we can get to shop. We can. We have, yeah, we have two full hours to eat, shop, and be merry. And enjoy the downtown Sorrento area. It may not be called downtown, guys, but it's Sorrento. Here's two dollars. Not getting an extra dollar out of me. Right. We've seen it for a dollar. Do you know who that is, Royce? Yeah, Mona Lisa. What? Mona Lisa. Oh, you guys know and stuff? Yes. Cool. Wow. So. 
Yeah. All right, so well traveled and knowledgeable. That you can actually go see the real picture in Paris, but we yeah. haven't gone there yet. And meanwhile, we'll have to settle for the bottom sock. <laughs> yeah. You know, it seems like you need to buy lemons. I mean, if you're into lemons, this, this is, is place. This is lemon capital. <laughs> lemon outfit. The lemon capital of the world. Oh my gosh. Everything is lemon. Look at the bags right there. Look. Look. Bro, go put that back. So far, she don't have a bottle full of lemon juice. You wanted gelato. You always wanted gelato. Yeah. Since when? Since what, last week? Get out of here. Let's go get some gelato. Long line for the gelato, huh? Peroni in Italy. Salute. <laughs> it tastes just like a Peroni everywhere else though. It tastes the same. It's the same exact thing. <laughs> but it's something about nah, it's really nothing about. Okay, alright, alright. Well, we found a cool little spot. It's in the it's actually the heart of the center, the city square. And it just looked like a vibe. So we're all about the vibes. It's Italian vibes. So we <laughs> like, oh, that looked like a good spot. So we're not terribly hungry. So we said, you know, let's pop in. We'll get a little quick beat, a, a quick bite to eat. So we're going to do a margarita pizza because the margarita pizza was apparently invented here, named after Queen Margarita when they stepped up their pizza game, should I say. We made it to impress her on her visit here. Oh, yeah. Because it represents the Italian flag, the red, white, and green. Yeah. So, little, little history lesson. And, um, oh. <laughs> she did learn that on a tour. But anyway, lemons are everywhere. So we went shopping. And there's lemons everywhere. It's all about the lemons over here. Yes, like all of the clothes here are lemon. Yeah. Um, hopefully, when we're on our way back, I'm gonna get the girls some lemon dresses for the summer. Just so the. Uh, if you see us in the Bahamas wearing all lemons, just know <laughs> it's because we're Italian. So our drink that we got today is lemon shuttle spray, which was recommended to us by our waiter. Yes. Cheers to you. Salute. Does that look to you as well? Let's try it now. That's refreshing. You could taste that strong lemon, but the lemoncello, the alcohol, the lemoncello. Lemoncello is usually pretty strong. It, it's like it's refreshing, but it's pretty strong. It's strong and refreshing. Definitely. My kind of drink. Definitely it's a run. <laughs> yeah. So the vibes here are just epic. The views are crazy. The scenery is beautiful. I keep telling Jasmine and she just keeps thinking like, why does he keep saying that? Because I keep telling her, yo, we're really like in Italy. We're really, we're really walking around Italy. Like walking around Italy with our kids, shopping and drinking Italian things and eating Italian food. And, Man, it's, it's so nice. Like the views that I'm looking at even here, it's it's just really nice. The, this city is like it's on a hill. Clean and it's very clean. Okay, I don't think it's like it's very clean, very nice. It's, it's, it's a vibe. Definitely a must come to. For sure. It's something to see. And they have nightlife here as well. Yeah. The place we're at right now actually has a nightclub downstairs and yeah, it's built on the side of a hill, this place. It's, it's weird. And then um, some other places I noticed they had club signs, so that goes to show me like, they get a pop. They get, they get lit. <laughs> they get lit. When that lemoncello kicks, kicks in, they get lit. We got the calamari. Well, she got the calamari. I'm a little shellfish. <laughs> I wish you would taste how good this calamari is. It's so fresh. Really? So fresh. Oh my gosh, so good. The margarita pizza is perfection. We ate pizza in Olbia, Italy, for our first time eating pizza in Italy. And we said, you know what? It was amazing. And people said that the best pizza they ever had was in Naples. 
So we've heard this region, Naples, Sorrentino, they have amazing pizza. That is correct. The pizza here is amazing. And this is not a, a necessarily a restaurant known for the best pizza. Right. Imagine it's if you went. Yeah. Imagine you went to a place that's famous for pizza. What would that taste like, right? And we telling you this is good. And we don't play about pizza. From New York, we don't play about no pizza. All right. So they gave us a full two hours out there to do our thing, and we did our thing. That's it. Baby. And now we're back in the air conditioned bus on our way to Pompeii. So stay tuned. Super dope. We're looking forward to Pompeii so we much. Tent. <laughs> um, My seat is like old Eva Klein. You want to switch places? I like that. How did we upgrade it up a little? I want another recline. Wait. Well, let me recline. I'm going to sleep. That's no, okay. Take me a nap. Um, All right. Alright, so we just got here, we just got off the bus. We are about to go to the Pompeii ruins. Very exciting. So we've got our headpieces on so we can hear our air pieces on so we can hear our tour guide. And yeah, it's a Bluetooth and it's it's a lot of tourists here. It's the second most visited historical site in Italy, of course next to the Colosseum. They bring us into this place first where you essentially can really use the bathroom. Yes. Because they said there's not great bathroom. But this bathroom here is great, if you guys want to know. I'm not making a public restroom, it's like, oh, schema. But this one the is- The men's bathroom is pretty bad. Oh, the women's is great. Right now we're in a jewelry shop, accessory shop. Kind of museum kind of situation. Yeah. So it's good that they bring you here and Disney has it set up the tour where you also will get a bottle of water. Oh yeah, because it's hot. So that's really good that you don't, you know, that they have that. Mm -hmm. And he did say if you need to leave the tour because it's so much, it would actually take you a whole day to explore. So if you need to leave the tour, he showed where the meetup point is. So right. you can abandon ship early if you need to. Yeah. So we're gonna see how much we can go. We're not yep. gonna push our kids too much. So yeah. We when you travel with kids, you gotta know right. you may not make it through the whole thing. Okay. So Rain pointed out to me that a lot of the artwork here don't have any underwear on. <laughs> so she was shocked. She was like, "What is going on? What is going on here, Rain?" You don't like it? What you want to look at? Look, this one here, he got no underwear on right here. No underwear, what's up with that? <laughs> Eruption last three weeks. Three weeks of uh, ash, rain, lava flows. So it was incredible. It was like a huge catastrophe. So this area, Pompeii, actually was on the port. This used to be a port, but now the port is now five miles away because the, when the volcano erupted, it extended five miles. That's crazy. So he's explaining to us about how advanced they were for the time. Like they were way ahead of many civilizations for 79 AD. They were, I mean, they had theaters and all of that. They were very advanced. Theater, something you were interested in. <laughs> so, yeah, the Bluetooth piece here, uh, he's explaining as you go, is great. And we we did consider c just coming here and booking this like on Viator or something, but we really wanted to do this. So it's a guided tour with Disney, and so far? So far, so good. good, yeah. yeah. So over here was a marketplace in 62 AD. There was an earthquake, so it did a lot of damage to it. So here is the theater where they used to perform and sing and all that jazz. They used to go and sit down and watch a performance. This was the night at the theater, darling. This area was very big on bakeries bread for everyone so now we're headed up to go to where a bakery is right. bread was a huge part of their diet apparently mm -hmm. eat those carbs the fountain great meeting point 
Yeah. Hook up with your friends. Girl, meet me at the fountain. I got something this to tell you. intersection where we link up, you know? We got some gossip to share. Yeah, link me. Talk about my day. Where we gonna be at? The um, Red Genev 4. Link me over there. It's the cross streets. Right. It's the hangout spot. Fast food restaurant. Yeah, no. It's a takeaway. Takeaway. It's a oh, takeaway, okay. yeah. The first takeaway in the history. The Living room. In the middle, there was a table with all the dishes of the buckets because a dinner or a banquet lasts uh, hours, uh, five, seven, eight hours. Then it was a, a long dinner and they got different dishes. So we are walking through the bags. There were six of them here in Pompeii. Lots of room. We made it. It's hot up there, guys. It's so hot. Why are you doing that tour? It is blazing. I, I, mo I asked mommy to put water on me. Now I feel much better. I've been splashing Royce with water the whole time we're there. Bring wool. Make sure you got the water. All right, so we are back in the cruise port, and it is not as easy as it was to get off. You actually have to go through security at the terminal. So that building that you saw, we have to we have to go through the actual terminal building that everybody goes through, regardless of port excursion or not. So, yeah, and, and there's another ship in, in port today, which is Costa. Toscana? Costa Toscana. That's what we say. <laughs> Something like that. So, yeah, so we have to stand on this line and wait. It looks like it'll be a minute. Not uh, front door service like it was getting off. All right, we're back on the ship and. The Disney characters here, Goofy has on his Italian outfit. So we're gonna get close to show you his Italian outfit, okay? We love the outfit. It's right. So nice. Very appropriate for Italy. The hat is everything. <laughs> yes. Yes, we yeah, love yeah, yeah, yeah. We try to come through. Yes. Yes, we do matching shoes too. Yes, we do. All right, and we're back on board on our balcony on our Disney cruise. Man, it was a long day. I will tell you that I do not recommend that for like any kids over the age of five. Under the age of five. Yeah, because Royce <laughs> is five, but she's turning six next month, and it was a lot for her. Yeah. It was hot. It was a lot. Yes, yeah. parents, keep in mind, you may see us on this European cruise, but when you go on these European cruises, it is very port heavy. It's a lot of walking. It's a lot of like excursions that's not deemed fun for children yeah so these historical excursions especially they're not it's hard to make them fun for kids it right. is it right. truly is and, and, I, and I get it I mean think about it when you were a kid did you think you would enjoy walking through like these old ruins you wouldn't <laughs> care about it right you're just like what is going on and why am I here so <laughs> all you would know it's hot and I'm ready to go home our girls held up really well mm -hmm. um, they enjoyed most of it for the most part there were some times obviously their kids they were hot, were they were hot getting sweaty, tired, tired and yeah. over it but overall it was a great day it was really memorable I'm so happy I finally got to see Pompeii in person that was dope um, the yeah. taste of Sorrento was really nice it was nice to walk around the like the Times Square area really nice um, the Times Square area that's that is what he said. Is it really? He did. He I mentioned thought you made something that up. about Times Square. I thought you made that up. No. So it's pretty cool about doing stuff like this. I know we said that the port excursions and all of that are kind of intense for children, 
doing it on a Disney cruise seems to be, and this is only on day two, right? But it seems like it's the way to go because they're still on a Disney cruise. So they're going to get a full child adventure. It's going to be amazing for them. It's Disney, right? So right. it's still going to be amazing. They get while... back on the ship and have, like we walked back on the ship, took yeah. pictures with Goofy. So it's like it's the best fun. of both worlds. You get to do this historical stuff and this European um, itinerary and to do it on Disney with young kids, you just can't beat that. Can't beat it. <laughs> Until the next vlog, guys. Continue to live. All oh, right. And Jazzy. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, guys. Leaving the magic.